Uh, hello everyone. So in the last episode, we were able to work on our call notification UI such that when we click an online user here, we initiate a call to them and we see these incoming call UI. And in this particular episode, I want us to start working with WebRTC. And that will involve getting the video going here for the calling user. And later on, we'll see how uh, when we answer here, those two users will be able to communicate. So for now, we'll focus on getting the video and the audio. So if I go to WebRTC docs and I go to the overview here, we have an intro here about WebRTC. And you'll see the WebRTC standard covers on a high level two different technologies, the media capture devices and the peer-to-peer -peer connectivity. So right now, what we want to start with is this right here, media capture devices. How can we be able to get uh, the video going on and the audio? And then later on, we'll see about this peer-to-peer -peer connectivity so that when we already have the media, or the video being captured, then we'll be able to connect those two users and then they'll be able to communicate, okay? So you can go ahead and uh, go through these docs if you want more information about WebRTC. Just search for WebRTC and you'll see all this. And to capture the media, we have this particular um, method right here, get user media. And also for screen recording, we have this get display media. Now, first things first, when we click on an online user, we will be calling this particular function right here, handle call. So when we click this handle call, that is when we want to get the video, the audio, and uh, we'll be calling those media streams. So we want the stream whenever we click uh, that particular user and we call this particular function. So right here, okay, maybe after this return, uh, we will just say const stream will be equal to we await and we will call a function get media stream so we don't have this function but we are going to create it in a minute and uh, since we have used await here we should make this callback function that is right here to be an async function so here i say async then we create now this get media stream. I'll do it at the top here and we can say const get media stream to be equal to let's make use of the use callback hook. We invoke that, we pass an arrow function right there. We will have dependency array. We'll be able to call this function again if our local stream changes. So this local stream will be available in our state and I can come right here and define it. I'll say const local stream and set local uh, stream. And this will be equal to use state. We will have a type here. The type will be of media stream or it can be null. Here we will invoke our use state and we'll say null to begin with. So what have we done? I have defined this particular function, get media stream. We make use of use callback. We'll have an arrow function and a dependency array. The dependency array here will depend on local stream and we add that to our state there. So local stream is our own stream, okay? So this arrow function that we pass here will be an async function. And I'll go ahead and say async in the body of this function. First of all, we check if we have a local stream. So if we already have the stream in our state, we will check and immediately return that stream. And again, I have told you the stream will have information about our video and also the, uh, the voice. If we already have a local stream, we return that stream and we'll be able to get it right here as a stream. Else, if we don't have the local stream, we'll go ahead and get the local stream and right here i'll use a try and catch block so i'll say try catch and at try we will get the devices so i'll say const devices uh, is equals to we await and i'll say navigator dot media devices then dot uh, enumerated devices so 
devices uh, sometimes for example for the video you might have different inputs for the video you might have the camera that is inbuilt in your computer you can have a camera that is uh, plugged with a usb so we have like many devices also for voice the same way you have, might have a mic that is plugged in or the built-in mic and so on i only want the video devices here so i'll filter out to get the video devices const video uh, devices will be equal to i say devices dot filter here we will get a device at a time and we'll be able to return the device dot kind is equals to video input we could be having two different kind of devices for example if you have a phone you have the selfie camera and you have that back camera so those are two video devices and if we have two video devices we would prefer to get the device that is for the selfie because we are doing like a video call so we can use this we check the one that is for uh, the selfie and we use that for the video call i'll get the media stream and i'll say con uh, stream and this will be equal to we await navigator uh, dot media devices and then we get the get user media so this stream will contain the audio the video okay but here now we can set the uh, default configuration that we would like for our stream first of all we will have the audio so we'll say audio true then it will have the video and here we can set the settings for the video then we'll say here facing mode so the facing mode value here could be undefined it could be user when we say user that means that we prefer the video that is for the the selfie camera that is and if we say environment that is for that back camera so here I just say if we have more than one video devices then we prefer the face mode so this face mode you can pass it as a, a parameter so what i mean is that you will be able to pass it right here as a parameter so i'll say face mode and this will be an optional string the string value could be user or it could be environment so here i do this and you could use this to perform like a, a toggle between the cameras if we have more than one you could be able to toggle them so i'm just showing you this but uh, i don't actually think that will be toggling the cameras and so on but you could do that now here we will get a stream and this stream have our video and the audio and we could be able now to return that stream so here i will be able to return the stream so if we call this get media stream we return that stream that have the audio and the video and also before we return we could set it to be our local stream so set local stream to be stream so if we have an error i think we could console log here failed to get the stream and we could show the error here as error then we could reset the state right here we return something as well so what we will return here is null when we return null that means that from get media stream it returns either a stream or null so if we come to our handle call this stream might have the stream or it might not have the stream and we should cover a case where when we don't have a stream okay so we perform a check we say if we don't have a stream then we will immediately return that means that we will not proceed by emitting this particular event that makes a call to the other user and uh, the situations where we might not have a stream is for example if we don't have a camera plugged in or if our device camera is not working for some reason or if we uh, decline the permissions for the camera and also here we could console log an error no a stream in handle call now we can be able to check the state if we have a stream we show it on our ui if we don't we don't show it 
but at this point we should be able to have the stream estate and perform this check if we don't have it then we will not like give permissions so i think we could test and see how this is and now if i click this user uh, we will make a call to this function this function will make a call to get media stream get media stream will try to get the video device the audio and so on and it will give us a pop-up if we want to give permission so let's see if it does that i click and look we get a pop-up to give permissions to the camera so here i allow and once i allow you'll notice that right here we get the call and right here at the top it shows that we are giving permission to our camera this means that we are getting our local stream and we should try and display it here and see if it works so the first thing that we will do is to add this local stream to the value of our context so i'll come right here and i'll say local stream we add the type first it will be of type media stream or it could be null we take now local stream and we add it to our value so i say local stream this means now we will be able to access it anywhere in our application i'll add a component at components i could just do it at the root of our components and i'll say video call dot tsx i'll say status functional component and this will be video call component and at the top we'll make this to be a client component so i'll say use client right here before our return we will be able to get our local stream so i'll say const okay we destructure it from our use socket hook so here i do this and i set this to be equal to use socket i invoke that so we get our local stream from that hook we will be creating another component that will have our video so let's add a component and i can say a video container dot tsx here i'll say status functional component and i'll say video container we will return a video now so video element this video element will have a class name rounded will have a border and we'll have a width of about 800 px auto play that will be true and then plays inline and we'll say muted if it's a local stream we'll be having this flag so this flag if it's local stream will enable us to know if it's our video or it's the video for the other user or the person that we are calling because we'll use this component for both then right here we'll be able to receive a stream we'll be able to receive is local stream prop we'll be able to receive is on call prop and we should add the types for them i'll say interface i video container we will have a stream of type media stream could also be null we'll have is local stream then here i'll say it's boolean then we will have is on call and here i'll say boolean so this is on call will be true when the other user accepts the call and uh, he does not like hang up if he accepts the call and we are on call we'll make our own video to be small at the top and then the other person video will like occupy most of the space so that is the use of this is on call flag okay we add the type here i'll just say full colon and we'll say i video container and we save to auto format there now i come right here we will set the src for this particular video by making use of ref this is how we'll do it i'll just say const video ref is equals to we make use of the use ref hook by default it will be null but the type here will be html video element the type for that and then now we assign that ref to this video which is our html element and we'll say ref 
and we say video ref this particular ref here use ref we bring it from react like that if we have a stream we will assign the src for the video uh, to be that stream so here i'll say use effect and we will invoke this like that and we'll have the dependency array the stream will be our dependency if stream changes this use effect will run again and right here we'll be able to perform a check and we'll say do we have our video ref dot current and do we have a stream if we do we just assign the stream to our video ref src property so i'll say video ref then dot current dot src object to be our stream now we used src object because this stream is an object and once we do that these will show us the video so i save so we come back to the video call component we will be able to show that video container and here we will perform a check do we have a local stream if we do have a local stream we'll go ahead and show our video container and we import that from video container and this expects several props the first one is a stream and in this case we are showing the local stream so we say local stream we will have is local stream uh, which is actually true okay so is on call for now we will say false but later on we'll be performing an actual check to see if we are on call or not for now i say false so we'll be changing that value later on and once we do this uh, believe me not if we have a local stream we'll be able to see the video going on so we come to app and we come to page and we hook our video call component right here video call okay we should import it so we get a bunch of errors because we didn't import these and i save now and we refresh so now let's see what happens so we get local stream as null uh, many renders but now let's call and voila we get this and as you can see we are getting the video here okay the reason why it's dark is because my camera is crossed but let me open and you see there we go so you can see my video is there very nice uh, i think for now i can leave it at that we are able to get the uh, media stream going on and what i'll do in the next episode we will implement the functionality for toggle okay we can toggle the camera we can toggle the audio and so on and then after that we'll see how we will go on to the peer-to-peer -peer communication so for now we have covered the get media stream part of web rtc uh, api so that is the first thing and i'm happy with it and i'll see you on the next one